Good morning, everyone. I hope all is well. And um, I haven't done a live video or live tour of Rodeo Drive before. So since I have to go do some errands on Rodeo Drive, I thought I would do that uh, right now. So um, I'm very lucky. My office, none of it's lucky or unlucky. It could be good or bad. <laughs> My office is uh, one block, actually block and a half from uh, world famous Rodeo Drive. And uh, in my lifetime, I've been all around the world, and I've been to all of the major lug luxury shopping streets from Paris to London to Rome, New York, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Dubai. I mean, you name it, I've been there. And I have to say that Rodeo Drive still to this day is one of my favorite places to shop for many reasons. So let me turn the camera around in a second and kind of um, show you. I'm going to just drive up and down because I have to find a parking spot to go to take some luggage repairs into Louis Vuitton. So let's take a look. So I'm currently driving on Wilshire Boulevard here in the city of Beverly Hills, right, right in the heart of Beverly Hills. There we go, that's a little bit better, okay. So this is Wilshire Boulevard and Beverly Drive. I just turned off of Cannon Drive. Hey Michelle, how are you? Good morning from overcast Beverly Hills this morning. <laughs> so again, typically for those of you who know, in LA in the west side, winter, summer, we do tend to have uh, the morning overcast as we call it, which is basically fog that rolls in uh, from the ocean at night which keeps us cool gets us lots of nice fresh air and um, and then keeps us cool for the remainder of the day so uh, so off to your left over there the not the tall building but the one behind it is the Beverly Wilshire Hotel or the Beverly Wilshire Four Seasons Hotel it was bought by Four Seasons I don't know 15 20 years ago and that was the first luxury hotel in Beverly Hills built in 19 Gosh, 14 or 1916, I forget exactly the date. It was originally called the Beverly Wilshire. And uh, we're coming up here, and that's on the corner of Rodeo Drive and Wilshire Boulevard. So this is the beginning of Rodeo Drive, and the Rodeo Drive shopping area is only basically three blocks. And this is where it begins. So we're turning up off of Wilshire, and that's uh, Dior. Uh, over here to the right is a shopping center called Two Rodeo. A beautiful shopping center, as you can see, it's architecturally beautiful. And Beverly Hills has gorgeous palm trees and flowers. Uh, we have a Robert Graham sculpture there. We just passed Louis Vuitton to the left. Uh, this is a spot where you can come. It's kind of fun and take photos uh, with all these flowers. And it says only Rodeo Drive. There's the world famous Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry sh store from Paris. It's been there, gosh, at least 30, 35 years that I know of. So let's put this camera right more in the middle. So. This is the first corner, and every major luxury retailer is here, from Harry Winston to Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Burberry, Piaget, Hermes, uh, Dolce & Gabbana. I love Dolce & Gabbana, by the way. <laughs> uh, Saint Laurent, Montclair, Todd's, I mean, Prada, I mean, you name it, it's all here. We do have street parking uh, in Beverly Hills. Oh, and this is the Lux, Ho Lux Hotel. It's a small boutique hotel, and it's very reasonably priced. So if you don't want to spend, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a night to stay in Beverly Hills, the Lux is a great spot. It's a small hotel. It's very nice. It's modern, and it's right on Rodeo Drive. So you can't really beat the location if you like to shop and want to check out um, the area. Rodeo Drive also gets decorated for the holidays. Every year, it's a little different theme. Uh, you can see there's little lights on the trees. We used to have all different kinds of trees, but about six, seven years ago. The city of Beverly Hills decided to change everything up and they went ahead and um, replaced all of the former trees with palm trees because the other trees were breaking up uh, the sidewalks. Um, so that's just a little background into the Rodeo Drive location. So we just did the three blocks, so it's like I said, very short. Um, and this is again the main street for shopping, although all throughout Beverly Hills there's, you know, maybe 20 business blocks in the main business district, so there are stores on every street, but really the main, main uh, top-end, high-end luxury boutiques are all on Rodeo Drive. At least the, well, I shouldn't say the priciest ones, because off, off the main street are pricey as well. And this is Rodeo Drive just north of Santa Monica Boulevard. We're in the flats of Beverly Hills, and this is the residential zone. So, so there you can see going down, we've got uh, three blocks of shopping, and then just north of uh, Santa Monica Boulevard here is the uh, residential zone. So excuse me, residential zone of Rodeo Drive, which runs about four blocks north from the shopping area. And it's called the Beverly Hills Flats. Uh, yeah, it may look like it's gonna rain, Alan, but it's actually not. Um, these are just our morning overcast clouds. 
uh, and it's basically very thick, dense fog. It's called the marine layer. Uh, no, Antonio, no taco shops. One interesting thing that people do not know is the city of Beverly Hills does not allow any fast food restaurants. There's no fast food whatsoever in the city of Beverly Hills. And secondly, there are no billboards. So if you notice when we're driving around, nowhere in the city of Beverly Hills will you see a billboard. Uh, that's one of the lovely things about Beverly Hills is we have the best security, the cleanest streets, um, the very safe environment, and no fast food, which is great because I don't, although I do like fast food, I don't eat fast food. Um, so it's good not to have those temptations around. <laughs> yeah, Crystal, it is a dream to visit. And just about everybody I know at some point comes to Beverly Hills for a vacation. So there's Yves Saint Laurent. We're back to the shopping area. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Alexander McQueen is opening. I'm excited about that. I love wearing skulls, and Alexander McQueen's done a lot of skull fashions the last uh, few years. And Rodeo Drive has changed dramatically in the last 30 years. I've been coming here since I was in high school, and uh, when I look at like Pretty Woman and movies from the 80s, Beverly Hills, uh, I forget all those movies from the 80s and early 90s, Beverly Hills is totally different. And uh, like the Chanel store just sold a couple years ago to Chanel. Um, they were renting it for I think $148 million. Can you imagine paying that much for a retail location? But hey, that's Rodeo Drive, one of the world's most well-known shopping streets. Um, also, as you'll see, one of the things about Beverly Hills, you see that kind of big pink building there to the right? That's one of our Beverly Hills free city parking lots. So when you come to Beverly Hills, all throughout the entire city of Beverly Hills, you'll see buildings that say free two hour parking. So if you come to Beverly Hills, you can park in any one of those lots for free for two hours. And if you have an electric car like I do, they have free charge point charging stations. So you can charge up your car and you don't even have to pay. So for me, I come, I park in there, I go to lunch for two hours, I come back, my car's charged and it's free. So one of the lovely benefits of shopping or um, or living in Beverly Hills. Hello to these, hey Lynn, how are you? Yes, the palm trees and uh, stores are quite beautiful. Isn't the hangout place from 9020 still there? Uh, I don't know what the hangout place is, uh, Marty. I don't know what you mean. I never watched that show, so um, so I'm gonna kind of keep my eye out for a parking space. Um, and I came early. Oh, there's this parking space right here. Perfect. I'm gonna park my car. And actually, I guess we can just. I was gonna do a live video, but I can just take the the um, phone out with me and just continue our live tour. Sorry to waste your time with parking here. Hey Massimo, how are you? You just watched Pretty Woman. It's funny, the other day we were um, uh, skipping channels on television and Pretty Woman was on and we looked at Rodale Drive and like I said, it really, really, really has changed quite a bit. Okay, so let's get out and let's continue our little tour. Oh, it's 72 degrees right now in Beverly Hills. There's our little map of the city. Let's see if you can zoom in. Go. I love it when all those buildings pop up. <laughs> okay, let's 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 go. Oh, and by the way, in Beverly Hills on Sundays, you don't have to pay to parking for parking until 12 noon. So it's nice you can come and shop and either park on the street for free for a while or um, park in one of our Beverly Hills city lots. I'm trying to find a key now. I'm not a kid, I can't leave. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's see which way should we go. Let's see, here we go. So, oh, that's the Lux Hotel. So it's a small boutique hotel, but uh, I've never stayed there, but friends of ours have stayed. They've really enjoyed it and liked it. So uh, let's just start up here. I'm not gonna go all the way up, it's a bit much. Um, and I gotta go to Louis Vuitton as soon as they open and bring my repairs in. So here we have Ferragamo. And uh, one of the things I like about Rodeo Drive is the shopping selection is really quite incredible. We have the best selection of most of the stores anywhere in the world. I mean, nowadays Louis Vuitton or Hermes or Chanel or Dior, you have relatively the same merchandise in all the different cities. Although you will find unique things in each city. Um, but here in Beverly Hills, we do have an amazing selection. So that's the Chanel boutique that uh, sold I think about a year ago for 100 and, oh, 142 or 148 million. So that white corner, that's what you pay, 148 million dollars. Hey Monica, here's Bulgari, used to be De Beers Diamonds. And this is one of the smaller 
side shopping streets. It's very quiet today because it's 11 a.m. and the stores have not yet opened. This Cartier, one of my favorites. I think we'll go, which side should we go? And we'll just go on this side. David Yerman, I have a lot of friends that love David Yerman jewelry. The tour buses, there's always those. Hey Ilif, how are you? We know you're coming back to visit us again soon. <laughs> how are things in Norway? Is, is winter there yet? And they've been doing something new this summer. Um, I forget what the term is called, but basically Rodeo Drive was open um, every night till 8, I think 8 p.m. Hence they put out all these tables and chairs on the street so people could come and shop and there are a lot of outdoor parties. And uh, I think the last outdoor party on Rodeo Drive is going to be on the 23rd of September. I think it's free to come, so anyone can come and enjoy it. There's a lot of uh, street trucks for food and vendors. I'll be honest, I've never come to the, those evening free parties. I come to the store parties, which are great. There's Tom Ford, but I don't come. Oh, Gucci. What's new at Gucci? Okay. Well, I like briefcases, but that's not quite my style for a men's briefcase. Looks like a woman's purse. <laughs> Some new handbags. The stores will all be opening pretty shortly. Some people already sitting out and enjoying the uh, outdoor. We have Bali, Emporio Armani, Battaglia, Montclair, Saint Laurent, Valentino, Bottega Veneto, who's Prada. Love Prada stuff. Of course, Massimo, you love Gucci. So do I. I've been I've loved Gucci since the 70s. <laughs> Gucci's great. Todd's, I love Todd's, really comfortable shoes. Ooh, a beautiful powder blue Rolls Royce convertible. Nice. LA's a great place for convertibles. And we do have great cars in LA too. So there's Saint Laurent, Montclair, Valentino, Bottega, Dolce Gabbana. The Dolce Gabbana has one side that's for women and one side that's for men. And uh, another secret of Rodeo Drive is most of the top, top high-end boutiques have luxury private penthouse shopping suites. So. Um, I think I'll be able to show you from the corner at Louis Vuitton. But basically, on the rooftops of many of these stores, the third floor is reserved for private shopping. And it's kind of like a ho giant hotel suite. They have food and champagne, and you get to shop privately with no one else. They bring the collection to you, so you don't have to walk through the store and look around. Um, where's the music coming from? So every single tree, Lori, has speakers. So, um, so you always have lovely music playing on Rodeo Drive and starting right around Thanksgiving, it's all Christmas music, holiday music, I should say. So that's the two Rodeo shopping center that was built probably 20 years ago. Versace is in there, Jimmy Choo, um, Lalique, Tiffany and Company, but it's a very beautiful shopping center. So um, yes, they do have a new perfume called Gabrielle. Gabrielle Coco Chanel, yes, Lynn. <laughs> Gabrielle no longer wears perfumes, uh, but if she did, we probably would get it if she liked it. But no, we, we do know about it, but Gabrielle doesn't wear perfumes. So, Tour Rodeo, I think, is probably one of the prettiest new shopping centers I've ever seen in the world. The architecture is really quite beautiful. It's kind of like a little Disneyland shopping center. And there is Louis Vuitton. So you see those umbrellas on the roof? So there's a big rooftop terrace, and that whole entire rooftop floor is, is, is reserved for the private shopping experience. So there are, um, actually, I'm not, that's not correct. There is, at Louis Vuitton, there's clothing up there for the public, and then there's a private room uh, to shop in, or a couple private rooms to shop in, and the terrace. And there at the bottom is the famous um, Beverly Wilshire Hotel that was um, from the movie Pretty Woman. And actually, I think what I'll do is, since I have a few more minutes, I'll just walk all the way down there. There's a Robert Graham sculpture that was put here in, on Rodeo Drive maybe eight, 10 years ago. What's my favorite store? Hmm, that's a good question. I shop at all different designers. There's certain ones that I love for certain things. So I don't have a particularly favorite store. I also like to um, put my own outfits together. So I might wear Ralph Lauren pants, Louis Vuitton belt, Hermes shoes, a Gucci jacket. So I don't, I'm not loyal to one particular designer, but my favorites would be 
Dolce Gabbana, Ralph Lauren, Louis Vuitton. Um, let's see what else do I like? Tom Ford. I think those are Gucci. I think those are the main ones that I like to, to wear. This is the new Fendi Dior store. And there is the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. Beautiful, beautiful hotel. Again, like I said, it was the first luxury hotel in Beverly Hills. The building is pretty much original to what it was. Down there below is called a restaurant called The Boulevard. You can see the people out there eating outside. Well, let's look down Wilshire Boulevard. Barney's is down there. Next to that is uh, Saks Neiman Marcus. I mean, Barney's, Saks Fifth Avenue Men's Store, Women's Store, and then um, Neiman Marcus. So the Boulevard restaurant is a great restaurant. You can eat outdoors or indoors. It's kind of like their hotel lobby lounge restaurant. Excellent food. Fun to sit outside and eat. Uh, Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant. Well, Damas, I've done quite a few videos at that restaurant because I go there several times a week. So if you just go to my YouTube channel and type in um, uh, Villa Blanca, you'll be able to see all my videos of uh, Villa Blanca. Yes, Massimo, that is the Pretty Woman Hotel. Good morning, Stephen. How are you? And so we're going to cross the street. Oh, I think what I'll do actually is I'll walk on Via Rodeo so you can see it. So this is the outside. There's Jimmy Choo, La Lique, Bruno Cusinelli, Tiffany and Company. Oh, Laurent, my friend from Paris. Brunello um, just opened here in Beverly Hills. So next time you come, I know it's one of your favorite brands. You have a great place to come shop. <laughs> So here's the beautiful Tiffany and Company. The building is quite beautiful. And that's what I like about Two Rodeo. It's really, look at the beautiful plants. The architecture of Two Rodeo is quite beautiful. Look at the beautiful hanging potted flowers. So this is the Wilshire Boulevard entrance of Two Rodeo, the main fountain. Um, all these places will be beautifully decorated during the holidays. So uh, rest assured that when the holidays come, I will do some videos with all the holiday decorations. We usually have a Christmas tree that's almost as tall as the tower. More pretty flowers. So coming up here you feel like you're in Europe, but you're in Beverly Hills. Carolina Herrera, coming soon. Here's one of our little outdoor cafes. People are here having breakfast, enjoying the temperate weather. So this is Via Rodeo, or to Rodeo, as they call it, is the separate entrance to the Tiffany. Richard Mille, the beautiful watch company with amazing watches. Gallery Michael, which is an art gallery to purchase paintings, prints, sculpture. The Versace flagship in Beverly Hills. They also have great parties, and the store is quite beautiful in the Greek Revival style. Now, roads are not paved with gold, unfortunately. People think they are, but they're brick. <laughs> oh, good question. I don't know what your name is. It's in Chinese. Do I recommend living near here or Malibu? Good question. A lot of people who live here in Beverly Hills or Bel Air, the main part of this west side of LA. Oh, there's the Burberry rooftop lounge. You can see it there. There's another lounge on top of Burberry. So um, most people who live in Malibu, it's a weekend home, although we have friends that do live there full time. So people who have money have a house here in Beverly Hills, Bel Air, or the Sunset Strip. Here's our Via Rodeo sign. So anyways, people have a home, their main home typically here in Beverly Hills or Bel Air. Then they have their weekend home in Malibu. Oh, this is where you can come and take a selfie video. Oh, maybe do a selfie video. Hold on. There we go. Only in Rodeo Drive. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so people have a main house in Beverly Hills, Bel Air, Homeby Hills, or the Hollywood Hills. And often they have a weekend home in Malibu. So typically Friday afternoons, they head out to Malibu, enjoy the weekend, the beach. 
and then come back to quote unquote the city in the um, morning of Sunday, Monday or on Sunday afternoons. So yeah, Malibu is beautiful, but it's a little bit quiet and sleepy. So if you want to be part of the life and the parties, you need to be here in Beverly Hills. I always tell my clients, buy a property as close to Beverly Hills as you can afford or want, because this is the heart of where everything happens in the high-end world of living in Los Angeles. Most of the parties, best restaurants, shopping, is everything is pretty much here in Beverly Hills or very, very close to Beverly Hills. So it's a little bit early, so none of the wares are in the windows, especially the jewelry stores. So you won't be able to see all the beautiful jewelry, although they should be putting them out as we speak. Nope, not yet. Merci, Rose. I appreciate it. Thank you, Massimo. It's a nice thing to say. I didn't shave this morning, so I felt a little bit funny going, doing a video with being unshaven, but that's okay. What can you do? Dolce Gabbana, one of my favorites. What fun new things did we have here? Oh, the new looks for fall. Or maybe it's already spring looks. I think we've already passed the fall shopping season. Here's the men's section. What do we have in here? Some sweaters and some tennis shoes. Valentino, always classic. You're welcome. It was Harry Winston Crystal, absolutely, and it's a beautiful store. I mean, the inside is absolutely stunning. I mean, really exceptionally beautiful and lovely. So I'm about to cross back over to my car and do my little errands now. To give you one little last final glimpse of Rodeo Drive. You're so welcome, R. I'm glad you're enjoying the little tour of Rodeo Drive today. We do have beautiful plow fl flowers. <laughs> flowers. And our palm trees. Okay, well I think that's the end of my tour today. Do you guys like these tours? If you do, I'm going to try to do more and more of them. Uh, obviously they're completely unscripted and they're off the cuff and I just say kind of what comes to mind, but um, I think it's fun to share the beauty and wonder of Beverly Hills, whether it's just you want to come here and just enjoy and visit for a vacation or just for the day if you live relatively nearby. It's worth coming for the day for some shopping, some fun, and um, some great food. Yes, Fred Heyman, we miss that old store. And uh, so, yeah, more music. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Goodbye from Beverly Hills. We'll see you all soon.